Hi friends, hope you are fine. We know this fungus, yeast or Saccharomyces cerevisiae for centuries and we are using these yeast in brewing and baking industries from the time immemorial. In this video, let us understand the life cycle of yeast, why the life cycle is called as haplodiplobiontic life cycle within 5 minutes. Yeast is a fungus that belongs to Ascomycotina where the spores are formed inside a sac called Ascus. It is an unicelled eukaryote. Yeast is a model organism using the laboratory strains of yeast. We studied the complexities of eukaryotic cell structure and function. So we are indebted to this interesting fungus for all our understanding regarding the eukaryotic cells. Different strains of yeast shows different types of life cycles. Even though it is one of the most thoroughly studied organism, still there are many missing links we don't know much about the life cycle of wild yeast strain. The life cycle that we are discussing is the life cycle of yeast strain that is cultured in laboratory conditions. Let's begin. In the case of Pekes yeast or Saccharomyces cerevisiae, there are two mating types. It is designated as A and alpha. As you see, there are two mating types, which is haploid, somatic cells of opposite strains comes in contact under the influence of pheromones or chemical signals and this fuses to form the diploid cell. This diploid cell undergoes budding forming more diploid cells. So this is the diploid yeast. It doubles within 100 minutes in a laboratory condition and grows as a diploid organism or a diploid yeast cell. When there is a food scarcity or starvation this diploid cell functions as ascus. Inside the cell, the diploid nucleus undergoes meiosis. This diploid cell undergoes meiosis forming four ascospores of which two are of A strain and two are of alpha strain that is formed within this ascus. At maturity, this ascus wall breaks up. These haploid cells, that is A and alpha haploid cells that is released and it multiplies by budding, initiating the haploid yeast phase. So this strain, A and alpha strain, undergoes budding continuously and begins the haploid yeast phase or haploid yeast. Yeast can exist in either diploid yeast cell or haploid yeast cell. This haploid cells, A and alpha, at a later stage, secrete pheromones, then comes in contact, fuses, and again forms the diploid cell. So there is a transition of generation from diploid cell to haploid cell. Diploid cells undergoes meiosis and forms the haploid cells, whereas haploid cells fuses to form the diploid cell. So in this life cycle, yeast can exist in two life forms, either as diploid yeast or as haploid yeast. That is why the life cycle is called as haplodiplobiontic life cycle. Haplo means haploid phase, diplo means diploid phase that is equally dominant. So this is the diploid phase and this is the haploid phase. That is why the life cycle is called as haplodiplobiontic life cycle. Let me summarize. In the case of Saccharomyces cerevisiae or Brewer's yeast, the haploid cells, there are two mating types, A and alpha. This mating types comes in contact under the influence of pheromones forming the diploid cell. This diploid cell undergoes budding and starts the diploid yeast phase forming many diploid cells. When there is food shortage, this diploid cell functions as ascus. The diploid nucleus undergoes meiosis forming four haploid ascospores formed inside the ascus of which two are of A strain and two are of alpha strain. On maturity, this ascus wall breaks and this haploid cells comes out and it undergoes budding and begins the haploid phase. So it can live as haploid yeast cell. At a later stage, this A and alpha strain, the haploid yeast strains, comes in contact under the influence of pheromones or chemical attractants, again forming the diploid cell. Both this haploid yeast cell and diploid yeast cell are equally dominant in this life cycle. The life cycle is called as haplodiplobiontic life cycle. Hope you understand the life cycle of yeast. Take care. 
Stay blessed. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.